part of uh, Malaysia's uh, very uh, exposed economy. Uh, it was hit hard early last year. Uh, imports uh, got hit. Uh, Malaysia's exports got hit, of course, uh, by the uh, overseas markets. Um, they delivered two big stimulus packages, uh, 18 billion US dollars. Uh, it's, it, it, the economy still went into recession last year, but only by two or three percent. Um, it'll, they'll probably come out uh, this year. They're doing okay by Southeast Asian standards. They're doing okay. It's the, it's the longer term that's really quite worrying. They've got, uh, you know, 40 percent of revenue comes from government revenue comes from oil and gas. They've got to do something about that. They're talking about a GST. Uh, they're basically trapped in this middle income group of countries, and until they carry out serious structural reforms. They won't climb out of that. And you know, serious structural reforms comes right up against affirmative action all the time. And they just seem to, you know, reluctant to, to do that because it interferes with their Malay base. So um, uh, I'd say you know, the economy will go along OK in the next year or two. Uh, longer term, uh, there's got to be doubts about whether it can really you know, power along at, uh, to reach fully developed status you know, by, by the original date of 2020. Yeah, the background for anyone who doesn't know it, there was a, uh, a Mongolian woman who was uh, murdered in uh, uh, pretty horrific circumstances in Malaysia. And uh, one of uh, Najib's uh, key advisors went on trial. Uh, he had a, this advisor had had an affair with her and uh, uh, he, was, he was put on trial for, uh, for uh, I guess, conspiracy to, uh, in her death. He was found not guilty. Two of Najib's bodyguards, who actually killed the woman, uh, have now been convicted of murder and are due to be executed. And it's a very unsatisfactory state of affairs because you don't have to be too bright to work out that, you know, a couple of uh, paid bodyguards had absolutely no motive whatsoever, you know, to go and murder a woman from Man Mongolia. And the way that the evidence transpired in court was that, of course, they were brought into the, into the, uh, into the action uh, through Najib's office. Um, it's too complicated to go through some of the connections, but Najib, the Prime Minister, has been linked to this woman and to this murder in, in, indirectly. And the things have come out. He has chosen not to address these issues, but to go into a mosque and swear his innocence, a very unusual uh, action in, in a place like Malaysia. Um, <coughs> it's, 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 it's potentially very embarrassing for the Prime Minister, you know, to be implicated in, in, in such a grisly murder this way. Um, his his, his, ad, his uh, attitude has simply been to sort of tough it out, just to ride it out and hope that it'll go away. The whole issue will die. Uh, at one stage, the police actually, at a, at, a, at, a, at a political demonstration, had to, the police actually ordered the, op uh, banned the opposition from carrying photos of the murdered woman and, from and banned them from chanting her name. Uh, this is obviously police acting very much not like this bastion that enforces the law, but as an extension of, of the government. Um, it's an open question. Uh, it keeps coming back to, to haunt the Prime Minister, and, uh, and, and I'm inclined to think that unless he ever comes clean and makes a, uh, makes a statement and just explains in detail uh, what his connection was with it, that, that it, it may haunt him for a long time. It's very difficult to say. Maybe he'll just be able to tough it out and, and uh, the country will move on and be engrossed in other problems and uh, will eventually forget it. But it's not a very, not a, not a very satisfactory state of affairs when a, a new prime minister comes in who's, you know, l people are looking for a new broom, a new start and everything else, and he's got these accusations, uh, you know, th these linkages, these murky linkages 